Okay, so we are on Mythethal, and on the upper left-hand side, we have Antarius playing as Rivendell, going against um, a Harad played by Adivasi. Uh, so this matchup could be quite fun, especially if, like, Harad goes from the Mahood in the early game, then, like, Rivendell's got to kind of sprint and uh, play around that, because uh, the Hobbits are not going to handle the Mahood well. Uh, but Antarius plays a pretty good Rivendell, and Adivasi likes to uh, cook around here with Harad Waith. We happen to see Wisdom of the Eldar has gone off uh, for Rivendell's Tier 1 pick. Uh, so Harad Waith's start has been exposed. But we do see a Architect over here going through the center. And interesting that Adi has picked the South Around Sentry. I'm trying to figure out maybe what the intention was of that. Oh, I mean, I can understand why he's not doing dry spell. Oh, crap. That's oh, that's not. Okay, nope, nope. Get out of there, Addy. What are you doing? Brother's just trying to run for his life. Oh, he almost lost the builder. Like, two more hits, he would have lost that builder, man. Damn. Yeah, two more hits, that builder would have been gone. But I think he's maybe trying to slow Rivendell's harass down by having the first bounder battalion take this out. Uh, that could be the game plan. We have the outpost start here for Adivasi. All right, so Antares. Oh, okay, just one shots the bounder. That, that's interesting. Uh, but anyways, Antares moving down towards Haradwait's base with the first bounded battalion. We'll see how it kind of plays out. Double encampment play. Second bout of battalion coming in. Uh, I guess at like a flank perspective, it's a one shot. Because uh, these guys are up front and they weren't getting one shot. Okay, so Antares takes care of the South Run Sentry. And now he's having to defend the base from the first bound of battalion in there. Tribal bows to press back the bounders. Sure, sure. Next Warlord back coming out. Antares keeping up the expansion to the southern point, but he's also. Uh, pivoting from the natural encampment play and going for the double going for the gathering support He wants those outriders on the field quick More bounders showing up into Harad Waits base Bounders are so tricky to deal with man. They are uh, really good harass based units Good placement of this bazaar by Adivasi. It really means that harass is going to be quite difficult on that singular bazaar. Okay, Bounders, yeah. Eh, Bounders is kind of keeping up with the Tribal Axemen, sort of. Not really, but sort of. Okay, Wisdom of the Elder was popped again. Definitely looks like he's either trying to get that speed bonus on a unit he may have popped it on uh, to save the battalion, or he's just trying to keep an eye on Herodwit's base at all times. And Antares over here on the side, creeping. Okay, Outriders have hit the field for Rivendell. See how it's going to line up. Haradwaith has a lot... I mean, they're both pretty even, actually, on the, on the CP front. Uh, very close to each other on command point cap right now, but uh, Haradwaith definitely has just a few more units on the field. And he gets the orchard nonetheless. Okay, keeping pikes around because the outriders are here. My warriors serve the dark lord. Now what else has Adavasi considered doing right now? He's just continuing for the uh, warlord play. But we do see a level 2 outpost here. He's gone for Harando Raiders to help with the bound to harass. Uh, forcing Antares to make more pikes. And it looks like Antares is going to take the time to creep this war glare. Oh! And it looks like he actually lost the builder. Yikes. He definitely did not mean to put the builder down there. <laughs> okay, I think that's... Yeah, we have one Hirondo Raider Battalion on the field to one Outrider. We'll see how they kind of line up together. And Harad is in the PowerPoint lead by one. More Townsguard and Bounders coming on the way. 
Rod Wade at 1500 in the bank. Rivendell's at 11. Looks like Antares has gone for Halbrad to help push back the Warlord pressure. Uh, he can easily snipe at the Warlord with the Archer Hero. Oh, and out of us, he's going to lose a builder. So builder for builder in this game. And again, Halbrad keeping things floating for Rivendell. Sniping off the Raiders. Looks like Antares is going to get another bazaar down here after getting the one on the northern side. And he's also moved on to this bazaar. Nice, nice. Level 4 Towns Guard. It would be good if he actually saved that battalion. We'll see. Rangers starting to hit the field. A little bit of a break from the Outrider pressure. Hironda Raiders, though, are trying to push back and they're doing down Outriders, but it looks like the Raiders are about to uh, be victorious in that attempt. So, Rule as the first hero for Rivendell. Not Rivendell, but uh, Haradwaith, my bad. Uh, but in Terrace over here has gone for Gildor as his second hero to buff the early game here for him. He doesn't have that many Rangers, but uh, he has enough to where it can be uh, quite good at times. Let's see if the Rangers catch the out Raiders at all. It looks like nope, not yet. But he has Breland Townsguard there buffed by Gildor. Man, yeah, Gildor's getting uh, smacked inside of here. Look at that. Unlucky. Loses Gildor lost. so quickly. Shows up and just dies. Okay, we happen to have out of Ossi here on the southern point with two Horanda Raider battalions. Ten points in the bank here for Antarius. And out of Ossi has gone for the fourth man, Darkness. Uh, so we're going to see how he kind of uses this. Many meetings dropped here in his base. Fourth man, Darkness used defensive. Oh, he's using it to try and catch Halberad. Okay, let's see. Does not look like he's going to get Halbrad. A little bit of a tough use right there. Suldan is on the field now, though, for Haradwaith. And let's see. Raiders look to be going after. Not after, but okay. They're just trying to trample the boundaries now. I thought they were trying to go after Halbrad. Uh, but Halbrad is safe uh, from danger. But the Dudan are pushing in for that harass opportunity. Uh, and Adavasi here going for the Umbarian Citadel. Alright, so Suladan supporting the Raiders is going to be really big here. We'll have to see how Adavasi kind of optimizes the banner when he gets there for lands are taken. Okay, pressing back on the Towns Guard. This Ranger Battalion's in like a little bit of a weird spot. I bring water. From the tribes of okay, so yeah, Suldan keeps running around aimlessly right now. Not much value so far at this time, so we'll see. Corsairs are starting to hit the field, so I might expect out of Asi here to go for uh, Barodapan in the matchup. And again, Halbrad to snipe the Warlord as always. Very, very convenient. Adavasi gets an orchard on the top. Okay, no change yet whether or not he's gone for another level 3 outpost or level 2 outpost here. But Suladan is going to be getting this orchard, so Rivendell's got a lot to kind of deal with here. Townsguard and Gildor, though, supporting one another. Good chance he's going to lose that battalion. Yikes. And he keeps one member of the battalion. Very lucky right there. Uh, I could expect that of Asi maybe to do Oasis. We'll see. Um, but Halbarad is deep inside the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Severing Strike for the kill. Very nice. When uh, Suldan gets the kill with Severing Strike, nearby units are buffed by 33% damage. Very cool. I think it's just... Yeah, it's just nearby Hirondor units. And Gildor's Pike Summon has come off here. So Adavasi, uh, at this point, I would say, 
Both of them are doing pretty well, uh, but Harad definitely has more economy and more map control at this point. 425 CP for Riv, 8 points in the bank, of 575 for Harad with 9. He's going after this very tight and protected uh, bazaar. He's going to get it. Nice. We answer to the Lord of Waves. Okay, Sarah Rule is back on the field. It's out of us. He's been spending the money to get his hero back. Okay, took archers here trying to defend the orchard, but out of us, he's back at 10 points now. And it looks like Suladan goes down. Oh, dude, he got caught up in the Townsguard and Gildor uh, clump very narrowly. A uh, Barotapan is here though for Adivasi now, so we should expect some more Corsairs, I would say. You can buff your uh, Warlords Adivasi with lies and threats here. You just have to buy it from the outpost, buddy. You can buff the Warlord survivability. Yeah, this, this lies and threats upgrade at the outpost is for the Warlord armor. Oh, Breath of Manway right there. Okay, destroying the clump. All right, so Antarius has pivoted in the spellbook choice. Uh, Halbrad is back on the field with the new builder for Antarius. 12 points here for Harad. Okay, yeah, I mean, Harad's definitely going to be in a better spot, I think, than a Rivendell at this point with their spellbook uh, progression. Harad is going over here again on the north, getting that bazaar. Many meetings almost off cooldown for Rivendell. Fourth Man of Darkness almost off cooldown as well. Level 3 Orchard, though, so this will be a tough loss for Interius if he loses that. Gildor level six. I'm actually kind of surprised that Interius, oh, okay, that's on cooldown, so never mind. I thought he hadn't used it yet. Many Mings dropped in the flank here, catching the Hirondo Raiders. Nope, actually they're gonna live, okay. But he is going after his level three bazaar and he's countering many meetings with fourth man darkness not exactly what you want to do having to use that defensively is really really rough but i understand he wants to save that bazaar Ooh. okay 15 points now for harad corsairs trying to do their best against halbrad but it's not cutting it halbrad hits level five It is a man way in many meetings meta for sure. Okay, must have doing down gone off on the gathering. Very quick recruitment time on the Halperet ability. It's 150 percent for 45 seconds. Uh, very quick. Okay, Brodapan's level three. He does have take all you can if you can afford to get it. Uh, new builder, Suldan's back on the field for her rod as well. It would be pretty good if Rotopan could take control of the uh, one of these units maybe and chase down a hero. I don't know. He just put them in pikes. Let's see if anything happens. Gildor is pressuring the Suldan and her under raider play. What's the uh, cooldown on the pike summon? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's Suldan? Not Suldan. CRO. Where is he? Bro, did I miss CR roll die? Christ. Uh, but it does look like take back, take all you can. I think it's, you know, well, what's it called? Bro, oh, okay. Halbred's dead by severing strike yet again. Uh, what is that ability called? I just said it and I already forgot it. Oh my God. I hate when that happens. Of course, they have firebomb though going off. Gilder's pike summon coming in as well. Gildor was level 7, so honestly, it's kind of like, I feel like Antarius should have waited for Gildor to hit 8, so you can get two more battalions out of that Pike 7, just considering the cooldown. Okay, Brotopan, there you go. Take all you can, that's what the ability's called. I hate when I get that uh, mixed up, like, in the moment. But yeah, I mean, CR Rule must have died, like, inside the uh, Dudine Pike clump. But Corsair Firebomb should be dealing quite a bit to this clump play here. 
Okay, bounders get that bizarre. Oh, Brotopan's dead. No. Dude, these pikes are gnarly. Pike and hero damage is always so gnarly. Okay, 12 points here for Rivendell, 675 CP to 400 CP of Harad, and 8 points in the bank. Again, he had picked up Unrelenting Sun some time ago. We are overrun. Okay, no level 3 outpost yet. I honestly would think Guards of Serpent might come by this point. Uh, we'll get to see. But he is very thin on uh, CP and economy, so I understand why he's not doing that. But Antares here going for the uh, library. Just to probably consider Great Company at this point in the game. A little bit later than no most people try to go for it, but now we see Halberad back on the field. Okay, lands are taken is available for Adabasi. We'll have to see if he ends up uh, doing much with it. And Brother Manway here deleting that clump of Adabasi's. Tough hit right there. Severed Strike goes off. I don't think he actually secured a kill. Let's see. He definitely secured a kill, though. Must be on, like, a regular unit. Um, got it out. Maybe he got the kill on Gildor. I don't see Gildor here. Yeah, he must have gotten the kill on Gildor. Under spearmen, here at your call. Hmm, that's crazy if he actually got the kill on Gildor there. Maybe he died earlier, I'm not sure. Okay, he's, yeah, he's definitely getting that builder now. Alright, so down level 6. He's keeping the South Thron sentries around here just to help with the defense. Rimmendale coming in on the northern part of the map, though. And Rivendell has Aragorn on the field now. Okay, this is going to be something for Adavasi to really watch out for. Many minions dropped on this bazaar yet again. Fourth Man Darkness being used defensively again for the third time here in the match. Really good aggression here by Antares to force uh, Adavasi to do that. He's going after the Umbarian Citadel. Ooh. Habrad's chilling inside of there as well. What's happening back here? Looks like Advasi going for the gathering. Okay, he's dropped lands or taken banner. That's a structure armor debuff that we are seeing. So they're both kind of pushing each other's bases real quick here. 14 points of her rod. 12 points. Suldan's looking pretty uh, scarce right here. We'll have to see if he can get out. Looks like he's getting out just fine. Freelanders together now. Rivendell's gone for a new builder. They must have lost another one. Unless that was like the one from like the beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Might not have been. Can't remember right now. Halperad, level 7 though. He might be getting the banner of Arwen in this game. Oh, Remnant of the Old Kingdom has been picked for Antarius. Okay. So he's going for like all of his tier twos, maybe? Uh, while out of Aussie, he's just beam lining it to tier four. Let's see. No four upgrade yet for like Oasis or anything on that to help with the Hironda Raider harass. Oh, man. Yeah, Stratorum bow. Up right, show 400 CP for Harad, 575 for Riv. I mean, like, Harad is doing a very good job of staying on the defense here, keeping in the game. They're holding out quite well, uh, considering Antares' play here. Unrelenting Sun has been popped again. It's a speed debuff for the opponent and a speed buff for Harad. Wait. Look at that. Look at that cab move. Look at this. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Dude, that damage on Strider, he's gonna- Oh, 
Help, oh, Athos, never mind. Athos got him. He saved the day. Damn. That would been huge. That would been a huge W for uh, Adivasi if uh, he got Strata right there. Let's see. Oasis is now on the fort though for her rod. Raiders, move out. Getting this orchard. Let's see if anything else. I feel like yeah, okay. So Halbrad. Strider, level next to each other right there, two and two. May Lithion was purchased, so we should be expecting the Grey Company coming anytime now. I bring warriors from the tribes and again, Harundere is going on the next bazaar. Careful, because of the Talons Guard. No, yep, retreat, just retreat. Down here, we have Corsairs back in the Harundere Pikes to hit the clump play. And what is Antarius doing here? Antarius is moving down to the southern point here with Halvored and Strider out of Ossie here with Brotopan back on the front line. And he's, you know, I would have loved to, I would love to see a caravan right now because if uh, out of Ossie could get a caravan, that'd be really good. But we do see he's gone for the pavilion. Uh, maybe we're going to see some good value out of this. We'll see. Ah, oh, man, Rivendell is really just chasing everything down here. And severing strike again, but no! Gildor's Pike 7! Oh my goodness. Lands are taken, dropped, but nothing done with it. Unlucky. Man, Strider just saves himself. Did he get the tier 1? No, he did not pick up the heal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, out of Ossie's harass attempt right there has just backfired on him. Now he's kind of just chilling. Uh, Rivendell's got a lot of, getting a lot of value out of its summons uh, between many meetings and Gildor's Pike summon. Um, Brotopan definitely on the run, but Gildor chasing him down. Look at that damage. Jeez, level 8 Gildor. Man, Rivendell heroes just chasing down other heroes is such a natural thing. 575, a master tracker for the speed buff on the allied units. And Broda Patton dies. You love that scream. Yeah, not much got done here with this lands or taken drop, unfortunately. But where is the severing strike cooldown? It's back. We do see Onslaught is available for uh, Soledan, though. Oh, no. Hold on. Does he use it? He did use Onslaught. Ooh. But he's getting all of his units killed here. No. Wait, wait. Severing strike yet again on Halbert. No. Suladan. No. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Adabasi here is gone for the Black Matriarch. Uh, Halbert had summoned Grey Company. Another story, man. Okay. Grey Company are naturally on the field as well for Antares at this point. We do hear that the Black Matriarch has gone off. He dropped it here by the uh, Southern Sentry summon. Let's see what kind of value that Adavas is going to get out of the Black Matriarch, though. Usually, uh, these Tier 4 summons give people um, different value depending if they know how to use it. But Rivendell! Rivendell going for the fort! <laughs> They're both trying to fort trade right now. Oh, no. Okay, okay. He's using single-minded charge on the Black Matriarch. We'll see. Strider, Gildor, Halbrad, all three of them going for the fort. Gandalf also trying to assist. He needs to put the Great Company into melee. He's going for the fortress. Rivendell's going for the fort. Okay, and it looks like Rivendell's getting the fort. Yeah, that's why you always want your fort armor, man. Always want that fort armor. And Sierra Rule's dead. Let's see, back on Adivasi's end. Black Matriarch continuing to chip away at the Rivendell fort, but he needs to continue using single-minded charge for the most optimal damage there. Okay, 725 CP for Riv, 450 for Harad. I actually don't think Antarius let Adavasi go above 600 CP that whole game. I think that Antarius' harass was really, really strong here. It just it was on point the whole way through. Okay, great company. Halbrad, yeah, level 10. Halbrad, so maybe Ben or Barwin will get dropped, who knows? Yep, Banner of Arwen dropped right here. OK, 
Okay, GG's. Very, very good game here. Very nice. Good plays all around. Good harass. Very back and forth. We'll have to see which one of them can, like, race it because, like, they both lost their fort. <laughs> uh, and Terrace has built a dormitory down here on the southern point, though. So I don't think Adivas is really going to see that. Continuing to take away and we see Adivasi here building a pavilion and he's got another one built just now right over here <laughs> So he's definitely trying to stay in the game with uh, the scorpion harassed by the end of it all uh, But for Adivasi to close he has to take out this gathering this encampment and this dormitory and this encampment as well I don't think um, Interius has anything else going on And it looks like Antares is kind of trying to sprint it back towards the dormitory. We'll see. Looks like they, yeah, they survive uh, scorpion hits. Okay. On sword. Very nice. And Antares kills the last architect, it looks like, for her rod wave. Uh, yep, out of Oss, he's definitely taking an L here. Okay, Halbrand and Strider close the game. We're taking out that last building. That was some good plays. Good aggression there by Antares. And good job with Adi keeping up on the front of all that.